DL, what made that good for you today? Uh, you know, my main focus right now is just to go out and, um, you know, feel healthy and, and get through the outings and, uh, you know, feel like I'm recovering well and, you know, mainly just focusing on my health and, um, you know, just continue to um, show that, you know, command isn't an issue, you know, you hear it a lot. And so that's something that I've, you know, really prided myself in working on and uh, put a lot of work into. So I'm just uh, excited to be healthy and, and keep trying to prove that. There were two balls thrown in two innings. I mean, what did it feel like to be pounding the zone to that level early on today? Uh, you know, I think it's uh, it's a great feeling always. You know, when, when all your stuff's working and it's all through the zone, it's a it's a great feeling. Um, like I said, it's it's something that you know I put a lot of a lot of thought into, a lot of a lot of work into this off season, and uh, I'm just excited to keep showing it. It looked like you had all four pitches going, and we're getting swings and miss on all four. Did it feel like that to you? Did, was that so? Yeah, I think that was uh, I think that was huge for me today. Uh, all my stuff, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough that it was one of those days where everything was going well, and uh, all my pitches were you know doing what they were supposed to, and uh, yeah, I think it, you know, they were definitely all for, uh, you know, in the zone for the most part, and it's a great feeling. Do you feel like a sense of accomplishment to get back up here from Bowie from where you left off last year, or is this more just one stop that you want to? You know, I, I try and look at it as, uh, you know, just another stop because, you know, there's a lot bigger plan, I feel like, and, uh, you know, I'm just working towards that big goal, and, uh, you know, I'm just ready to keep it going. <laughs> What, is, uh, what are some things that Adley does for a pitcher that might not be as easy for us to see? What, what, what kind of comfort does he give you? What, what is he oh, it's a, it's a huge difference. I mean, he's a difference maker back there. He's a different ma difference maker all over the field, you know, just, you know, with the bat and behind the plate. It's it's awesome to watch him play every day. It's it's something that uh, it's super special. He's a super special talent. So it's, it's amazing to get to watch him play every day is, you know, it's a blessing, really. It's good to see good baseball, and it's always fun to watch. And he definitely steals some strikes for you and little things like that, you know, that go a long way for pitchers. Since last June when you last pitched here and now getting back, have you changed or tweaked anything uh, with your pitching? No, you know, I think uh, a lot of it, a lot more, a lot of it's just, you know, mindset. Um, I wouldn't say that I really changed anything physically, more so just uh, mindset and mm -hmm. just going right at guys. Um, you know, just trying to get in the zone, especially in these rehab starts, just trying to stay through the zone and, uh, you know, throw all my stuff, you know, in the strike zone. That's that's my main focus and just kind of, you know, let them do what they can with it. What, what has been the mindset development? Have you worked with anyone? Have you read a good book, anything like that that you've sort of tried to hone in on? Um, you know, I think uh, a huge step in the right direction for me was, you know, this off season spending, uh, you know, almost 11, it was close to 11 months uh, until I towed the rubber in Aberdeen last week. So I had a lot of off time and a, and a lot of time to uh, learn how much that uh, I underappreciated baseball and just being out there. And now it's like every game that I get to go out, step out there and, and tow that rubber is a blessing. And, uh, you know, I'm just super thankful to be back on the field. I missed it. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel when you hear or read Mike Elias talk about that it could come quick for you. He knows the talent level he's working with here and, you know, the day is coming. Yeah, it's, you know, it's always a good feeling to hear things like that. You know, I try and stay, you know, out of it as much as I can, you know, and not listen to the outside noise and just focus on, you know, preparing and getting ready. But, you know, whenever, whenever that day comes, you know, I'll be ready uh, no matter, you know, whatever call I get, where I, no matter where I'm going, I'm ready. You guys have done an amazing job of keeping focused, despite everybody keep anticipating you being there. Hard to do or easy to do? You know, I think it's it's pretty easy. You know, we, we, we got guys, you know, like me and Adley and Grayson and all of us, you know, we kind of all just lean on each other, you know, if we're, you know, if we're, if something's bothering us or something, we, we all have, you know, each other to kind of bounce things off of. And I think that that definitely helps, you know, that you have a couple guys in similar situations and just being able to, uh, you know, you know, trusting those guys and talk to them. It's, it's been awesome. Of many dominant outings you've had on the farm, how did today rank? Uh, you know, I, it's tough to say, uh, you know, but uh, I think it was definitely, you know, top notch uh, in, in my personal opinion of it, just just because, you know, my focus on, you know, commanding the zone and to throw, you know, have a good, you know, strike ratio is, is huge for me. And, and uh, another thing is, is I'm feeling healthy. So 10 out of 10 for that. <laughs> awesome. That's the